Tablet 5 of the Epic of Gilgamesh, published in June 2014 after a new discovery. Gilgamesh and Enkidu have arrived at the Cedar Forest to confront the demon Humbaba. They stood there, marvelling at the forest, observing the height of the cedars, observing the way into the forest. Where Humbaba came and went, there was a track, the paths were in good order, the way was well trodden. They were gazing at the cedar mountain, dwelling of the gods, throne dais of the goddesses. On the face of the land the cedar was proffering its abundance, sweet was its shade, full of delight. All tangled was the thorny undergrowth, the forest a thick canopy. Cedars and baluku trees were so entangled it had in no way in. For one league on all sides, cedars sent forth saplings, cypresses, lacuna, for two-thirds of a league. The cedar was scabbed with lumps of resin for sixty cubits height. Resin oozed forth, drizzling down like rain, flowing freely for ravines to bear away. Through all the forest a bird began to sing. Lacuna were answering one another. A constant din was the noise. A solitary tree cricket set off a noisy chorus. Lacuna was singing a song, making the lacuna pipe loud. A wood pigeon was moaning, a turtle dove calling an answer. At the call of the stork, the forest exults. At the cry of the francolin, the forest exults in plenty. Monkey mothers sing aloud. The youngster monkey shrieks, like a band of musicians and drummers. They bash out a rhythm in the presence of Humbaba, as the cedar cast its shadow. Terror fell on Gilgamesh. Stiffness took a grip of his arms, and feebleness beset his legs. Enkidu opened his mouth to speak, saying to Gilgamesh, Let us go into the midst of the forest. Set to it, and let us raise our battle cry. Gilgamesh opened his mouth to speak, saying to Enkidu, Why, my friend, are we trembling like weaklings? We who came across all the mountains, shall, Lacuna, before us, Lacuna, shall we see the light? Enkidu replies, My friend is one who has experienced in combat, one who has been in battle, has no fear of death. You have been smeared in blood, so you need not fear death. Wax wrathful and like a very dervish go into a frenzy. Let your shout boom loud like a kettle drum. Let stiffness leave your arms, and feebleness arise from your legs. Gilgamesh, take hold of me, my friend, as one we shall, Lacuna. Let your mind dwell on combat, Lacuna. Humbaba talked with himself, speaking a word. Did not Lacuna, did not Lacuna, why are Lacuna perturbed and Lacuna? Why are my own Lacuna in terror for Lacuna? How indeed Lacuna in my very bed Lacuna? For sure Enkidu Lacuna in good will he Lacuna. If a word too Lacuna may Enlil curse him Lacuna. Enkidu opened his mouth to speak, saying to Gilgamesh. My friend, Humbaba, Lacuna, one is one alone, but two are two, though they be weak, two, Lacuna, though one alone cannot climb a glacis slope, two, Lacuna, two triplets, Lacuna, a three-ply rope is not easily broken, as for a strong dog, its two pups will overcome it, fix firm your stance, Lacuna, my friend, an arrow's dart, Lacuna, the journey you are making, Lacuna, when we have departed, Lacuna, is born, Lacuna. It's to Lacuna. My friend, on the winds, that Shamash, Lacuna. His rear is a tempest, his front is a wind. Speak to Shamash, that he may give you his thirteen winds. Gilgamesh lifted up his head, weeping before Shamash, his tears flowing before the rays of the sun. Do not forget that day, O Shamash, that I placed my trust in you. Now come to my aid, and Lacuna. Upon Gilgamesh, Sion from Uruk's midst, place your protection. Shamash heard what he had spoken. Straightway a voice cried to him from the heavens, 
Fear not, stand against him. He must not enter his dwelling. He must not go into the grove. He must not, lacuna, before he has wrapped himself in his seven cloaks of radiance. One he is wrapped in, six he has divested. They, lacuna, like a fierce wild bull, ready to charge, lacuna. He bellowed once, and it was a bellow full of terror, long lacuna. Enkidu opened his mouth to speak, saying to Gilgamesh, My friend, catch a bird, and where can its hatchlings go? Humbaba, lacuna, whither will they go, lacuna? Whither will they go, lacuna? Humbaba heard what Enkidu said. Humbaba lifted up his head, weeping before Shamash, his tears flowing before the rays of the sun. You did enter, O Enkidu, Lacuna, in the clashing of weapons a prince, but for his palace retainer hostilities are Lacuna. You sit before him like a sheep before a shepherd, and like one at his beck and call you, Lacuna. Now Enkidu, my release rests on you and Lacuna. Speak to Gilgamesh, so he spares my life. Enkidu opened his mouth to speak saying to Gilgamesh, My friend, Humbaba, guardian of the forest of Cedar, finish him, slay him, do away with his power. Humbaba, the forest guardian, finish him, slay him, do away with his power, before Enlil, the foremost, learns about it, and the great gods become angry with us. Enlil in Nippur, Shamash in Lhasa, establish an eternal lacuna. How Gilgamesh slew the fearsome Humbaba. Humbaba heard Lacuna. Humbaba lifted up his head, weeping before Shamash, his tears flowing before the rays of the sun. O Shamash, Lacuna. Gilgamesh, Lacuna, forest, Lacuna. Aromatics from that cedar they were taking for the Lacuna of Enlil. Enkidu opened his mouth to speak, saying to Gilgamesh, my friend, we have reduced the forest to a wasteland. How shall we answer to Enlil in Nippur? In your might you slew the guardian. What was this wrath of yours that you went trampling the forest? After they had slain his seven sons, Cricket, Screecher, Typhoon, Screamer, Crafty, Lacuna, Storm Demon, Hatchets of two talents were their axes, Lacuna, they cut off. Three and a half cubits long were the wood chips made by the strokes of their axes. Gilgamesh was cutting down the tree. Enkidu was seeking out the best timber. Enkidu opened his mouth to speak, saying to Gilgamesh, My friend, we have cut down a lofty cedar, whose top abutted the heavens. Make a door, six rods its height, two rods its breadth, one cubit its thickness. Its pole, its top pivot, its bottom pivot, shall all be of one piece. Let the Euphrates River carry it to Enlil in Nippur. Let Nippur's sanctuary rejoice over it. Lacuna. Branches, Lacuna. Cypress together with, Lacuna. They lashed together a raft. They laid, Lacuna. Was sitting. Enkidu was riding, Lacuna. And Gilgamesh rode along bearing the head of Humbaba. He washed his matted hair. He cleaned his equipment.